Hey everyone, Miss Dimsay here. This is a lap guide for St. Croix A with the Nissan GTR Group 4. And this is with BOP on, and we're on the racing hard tires. And we're in a GTR Group 4 as we do need a little bit of speed. All drive cars are really dominant in the class, so this is where the GTR comes in. But, anyways, bring us up towards the left side of the track break just before you reach the 100 meter board and you're turning in at the 50 meter board so brake hard for a short while start to ease off of the brakes and turn in at the 50 meter board and you can't take advantage of the green stuff on the right just don't dip way too far into it then you want to bring yourself towards the right side of the track this is just like the first turn where you brake just before the 100 meter board turn in at the 50 meter board so brake hard for a short while, turn in at the 50 meter board, start to ease off of the brakes as you're turning in, so doing a bit of trail braking. But then you want to brake just before the 50 meter board, go down to 30 gear, turn in right away, and you're using around 50% braking power. So getting really close to our friend Barry R, getting on the throttle as soon as you can. Bring us up towards the left side of the track, and you're braking shortly after this curb on the left starts. Unfortunately for your, these next two turns, there's no real good braking and turn marker. So for this turn, I brake just after that curb on the left starts. Then again, no real good braking marker, uh, although you can use this tree, the final tree on the right as your reference point. 50% braking power and turn in right away. You can be a little aggressive on the throttle, just be careful about going way too uh, deep into the grass. Bring yourself towards the right, brake just before you reach the 100 meter board. So this is where the curb on the right starts. Turn in at the 50 meter board and you want to slowly ease off of the brake, so doing a little bit of trail braking. And you can let the car coast for a very short moment, so no braking north throttle input to let the car turn in a bit more and then get on the throttle. Bring yourself towards the left, brake when the curb on the left starts and you're going to turn in almost immediately. Go down to third gear doing lots of trail braking and taking advantage of the curves. Get on the throttle as soon as you can. This is where it gets a little tricky because you want to turn in before the curb on the left starts and use a little bit of your braking power because you want to try to stay with the curbs on the right and when you pass this line that goes over the track that's when you want to slowly get on the throttle. Do be careful as there's a bump where this lighter part of the track is so you don't want to be too far to the left side of the track because if you hit that bump you do risk ending up in the gravel and you're gonna end up having a bad day so make sure you give yourself a little bit of space right there but anyways uh, you can rev it out on fifth gear bring yourself towards the right side of the track and you're braking just before the curb on the right starts so the run white curbs brake as much as you can for a short while turning in at the 50 meter board you can really take advantage of the curves and get a little aggressive on the throttle bring this up towards the left you can stay on fourth gear and you want to break at the 100 meter board this is a bit of a tricky hairpin as this hairpin is a bit long and drawn out so full braking power turning in at the 50 meter board go down to second gear and you want to be really patient with your throttle input so you can see me doing a little bit of throttle control and pretty much as you're pointing away from the bridge that's when you can start to fully accelerate. Bring yourself towards the right and you're braking just after the curb on the right starts. So before the 50 meter board and you're going to be using that 50 meter board as your turning point. So start to turn in, ease off of the brakes, do be careful as this little part right here is a little bumpy so don't go into this turn too fast otherwise you do risk on the steering off of the track. Now go ahead and bring yourself towards the left side of the track and you want to look for these triangles on the pavement so these triangles 
you want to break before you pass them. So full breaking power, turning in just as you're about to hit the 50 meter bar. So I start to turn in right around here, go down to second gear. You can take a little bit of advantage of the green stuff on the right. Go up to third gear, a little bit more braking control if you need it. But you want to get really aggressive on the throttle, trying to get really close to the walls. Bring us up towards the middle now. This is where it gets a little awkward because you want to look for these truck marshals hanging out on the right as that's going to basically be your cue to get ready to turn in a lot more and you want to turn in a lot more when the curves on the right start. You just want to try to stay towards the right side of the track. Now brake before the 100 meter board. So this is right where the new sector starts. Go down to fourth or third gear. I go down to third gear, turning in before the 50 meter board. Try to get as close as you can to the curb on the left and get on the throttle as soon as you can. There is a penalty serving zone hanging out right here, just in case if you're wondering where it's at. Bring yourself towards the left side of the track for the final turn. This is just like the first turn where you brake just before the 100 meter board, turn in at the 50 meter board. Going on to fourth gear, doing lots of trail braking and getting aggressive on the throttle as soon as you hit the apex. As soon as we cross the start finish line, I'll go through the lap again, but this time I will not stop the video. So we'll do a run through of the lap starting right now. So again, bring yourself towards the left side of the track, looking for the 100 meter board. So turn one, pretty straightforward. You can take advantage of the green stuff on the right. Just don't dip the left wheels into it. Otherwise you do risk getting a track penalty. And for the next left turn, it's a bit similar like turn one. So break at the 100 meter board, turn in at the 50 meter board. But do get ready to break just before the 50 meter board and shift down to third gear, trying to force the car to really turn in, get the car strained up and get under throttle as soon as you can. Then brake just after the curb on the left starts. Again, these two turns are really difficult as there's no good braking or turning marker. And if this is a race that you want to do a lot of this week, then you want to get a really good idea about where to brake for those turns as you kind of just have to know when to do those things. But anyways, brake before the 100 meter board. Uh, you can carry a, quite a bit of momentum through this left turn, although it is a little awkward, at least for me, it's a little awkward. Uh, look for the curve on the left and you're breaking and turning in just as it starts. Trying to get on the throttle as soon as you can. Looking for the curb on the left, turn in and do a little bit of braking before you pass it. And try to give yourself a bit of space between yourself and the left side of the track so the, the bump doesn't take you out of the track. And here I do have it out on fifth gear, at least on time trial, I stay on fifth gear. Look for the curb on the right as that's your next braking point and then go down to fourth gear, turning in at the 50 meter board. Get really aggressive with those curves and your throttle input. Uh, stay on fourth gear, break at the 100 meter board, turn in at the 50 meter board, and just be nice and patient with your throttle input so you don't end up off the track. And I look for the curb on the right, just after it starts, that's where I start to break. And just be a little careful about your way into the into the bridge as there's some bumps that can really mess up your day if you're a little too aggressive there. Then look for the triangle triangular arrows on the pavement. That's your next breaking point. You can take advantage of the green stuff as you go through the chicane, trying to be really brave through the really awkward chicane, getting close and personal with the barriers. Uh, you can bring yourself towards the middle and then look for these guys on the right as that's kind of your cue to turn in a bit more. Just trying to stay towards the right side of the track. Break before the 100 meter board. Uh, it is a little easy to lose a little too much momentum so you want to try to get a nice clean turn. Don't get the car sliding around too much. And for the final turn, this is just the first turn where you want to break at the 100 meter board. Turn in at the 50 meter board, 
doing lots of trail breaking and getting on the throttle as soon as you can. And with this lap, I was able to get a 318.6. So a bit of an okay lap. And well, that's pretty much it for the lap guys. So hopefully this guide helped you out a bit. And if you like this video, you can press the like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I do want to thank you guys for the support. And well, that's all for me. So this is Mr. MCA. Good luck and have fun with this week's daily races. And I'll see you in the next video.